So it's really easy to open up your system. Uh, with two simple screws on the back, you can take off your front cover. If you've had your PC a while, it might be a little bit dusty in there. So keep a vacuum cleaner handy if you want to, uh, if you want to clean up the inside of your case. So here's the inside of our system. Your system might not look identical, but it will share a lot of the same components. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of all the major parts of the system uh, so you can identify in your, in your computer which part is which. This is the CPU uh, under this fan. The vertical slots here are for the memory. Uh, you have the hard drive over here. And there's usually an open slot for a graphics card. So this slot right here is called the PCI Express slot, and it's used for graphics. Some motherboards have one, two, or even more slots. So I have a few video cards here. Um, for example, this is one of our HD 5770s, and this is an HD 3450. Uh, you notice they look quite a bit different. Uh, just like cars, video cards come in all sorts of uh, styles. Some of them are much more powerful and will require an external power connector, while other ones that aren't quite as powerful don't require the connector. This right here is the PCI Express interface that will go into the slot that I showed you earlier. So first locate your PCI Express graphics slot. There may be some plates on the back of your case that you'll need to remove. Place the card in the slot and push it down to secure it. You may need to also screw in your graphics card. If your graphic card requires an external power connector, please make sure that you have a six-pin PCI Express connector on your power supply. Uh, you can contact your system manufacturer or your power supply vendor to verify this. Simply plug the power connector into your video card and install the video card the same way as you did before. Now that you've installed your graphics card, replace the back panel on your case. Remember to screw it in. And reconnect all the cables to the back. The first thing you need to do is reconnect your display connector. Uh, this might be in a position if you have a new video card and did not have one before. Reconnect all your peripherals, including your mouse and your keyboard. And lastly, reconnect the power and turn your power supply back on. In order to allow your new video card to communicate with the Windows operating system, you need a special piece of software called the driver. This is available either on the CD that you received with your graphics card or from our website. Simply click through the install process and the drivers will be installed. Click on finish, do one final reboot, and your drivers will be installed. As you can see, a simple graphics card upgrade can make what you see and what you do on your PC much better. Think you're ready to try for yourself? Go to the link below and you can compare graphics cards, find out which card is good for you and get the best prices. Hope this helps. For AMD, I'm Devin Ekchuk and I'll see you online.